Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound K2Cr2O7. Now here's a little trick. If you see that you have three or more different elements in your compound, you know you're dealing with at least one polyatomic ion. So it's always easiest to spot out the polyatomic ion and then work from there. In this case, we do have the three elements. We have K for potassium, Cr for chromium, and O for oxygen. So let's find out what the, the, uh, the polyatomic ion is. But remember, polyatomic ions are never on the periodic table. They should be memorized. So I wrote down the one that we're going to be using here. So just flashcard this, guys, or, you know, write it down. Just memorize these because they will come back. Cr2O7 collectively has a negative 2 charge, and this is always called dichromate. And here is the Cr2O7. So I have all this accounted for. The only other element that we need to figure out is, well, what is potassium? But potassium is in group 1. It's right here on the periodic table. And group 1s are all metals except for hydrogen, right? So potassium is a metal. And now it's an ionic compound because we have a metal in there. Now we're just ready to name. Potassium comes first, so we got to name that first. But this is good because the metal name always stays exactly the same. So I'm just going to write potassium. Okay, easy enough. Next comes the polyatomic, and the polyatomic ions, those stay exactly the same. But that's why you just got to memorize them. The periodic table won't help you with that. So the Cr2O7 is dichromate. Okay, now since it's ionic, just do a double check. Do I need a Roman numeral here? Well, Roman numerals are for transitional or transition metals. Potassium is not in this little group here. So I don't need a Roman numeral. So that means that we're done. Pretty simple, right, guys? So K2Cr207 is called potassium dichromate. And that's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. If you want to help us out, press the subscribe button. All right? I will see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.